Greetings guys, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be looking at how to edit your player recordings. If you don't know how to make a recording, check out the first video of part 4. For this video, you need the Aperture mod, but don't worry, for now it won't be difficult. First, let's look at the Player Edit menu without Aperture. To do this, press the Edit Record button in the Scene menu. There you will see a timeline, which is divided into ticks. 20 ticks equals 1 second. By scrolling the mouse wheel, dragging the mouse wheel, or the scroll bar, you can move horizontally in the timeline. With the mouse wheel pressed, or the scroll bar on the side, you can move vertically. If you scroll the mouse wheel while pressing Alt, you can zoom in and out of the timeline. With the buttons on the right, you can add, duplicate, delete, and record an action from the selected time. With the left buttons, you can cut, copy, paste an action. You can also teleport to the selected actor location. Now that we have that, let's select a recording from the burger menu in the upper right corner. To better see what you're doing, we'll use the features of the Aperture mod directly in the camera editor. Therefore, you go back to the scene menu and press Edit Camera or use the C key. With the icon at the bottom left, you can select the actor you want to edit. And with the button at the bottom right, you can toggle the Player Recording Editor. Above the Recording Editor timeline is another timeline where you can play your scene and see your changes immediately. You can use the F key to position yourself so that you have a better view. So let's add an action. For example, we will change the actor's skin in the middle of the recording. Therefore, you select the plus symbol on the right and choose the morph action. Now you can pick the morph you want. With the Enter key, you can preview the change. Wonderful! At least, we create a little animation. To do this, we duplicate the morph action and place it a few ticks to the right. Now we can press the Edit button and create a pose. For example, we rotate both arms. In order to get a smooth animation between the two morphs, you have to check the Animate box. Below this box, you can set the amount of time it takes for the animation to finish. Let's say 3 seconds, a total of 60 ticks. In the Player Record Editor, you will now see a line to the right starting from your action. This is how long the animation takes. Let's take a look at what we have done. Fascinating! In the next video, we will go through all the actions again in detail. But that's it, we're done. We wish you a lot of fun making creative videos with the Blockbuster mods. See you next time.